Hey guys, Chicken Moon with Chicken Moon's Moxes. Today I have a brand new video for you guys on another Lego Transformer. And in this video, we're talking about G1 based Bombshell. Now, this is him in insect mode, and he looks pretty good. Uh, we'll go and get minifigure of the day out of here. This is Kai from the Lego Ninjago movie. I really like this figure. It's my little sib my little brother's, and he let me borrow it. So, thank you. And, yeah, so that's about it. So, well, all right. Bye, Kai. Anyway, so this is Bombshell, a uh, minifigure for scale with his insect mode. And he looks pretty good. I like it. I think it's a nice looking mini, er, <laughs> nice looking insect. Um, I don't know what exactly insect it's supposed to be based off of. I just imagine it as a beetle and then this thing on the end, which I don't know. Some, it's some kind of cannon in the, is what it is, but it just looks a little strange. Uh, it kind of looks like a spider from this, but I mean, other than the six legs, because spiders have eight and they're not classified as insects. But, uh... Anyways, uh, tangent over. You can see he does kind of have that weird spider shaping to it with the way that looks from the top. But he's also got this thing on the front, which he can, you can actually pose pretty well if you wanted to. You can actually rotate it as well, which that kind of looks weird. But you can. You can also rotate this part. If you wanted to, again, looks a little strange. And the legs are all on ball joints, so they are poseable, but they are also pretty loose. So be careful with that one, especially the front. But anyways, uh, that is Bombshell in insect mode. And this was made for the Auto Brick Challenge. So you remember a while back I did my Riptide video, which if you want to see that, you can... Click the info card up there right now, or you can after after the you finish this video, of course. But uh, this is the insect one, so this was the other one for June that we did, and I'm a little I'm a little close to the deadline, but I made it. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the transformation. So the transform bombshell is pretty simple. You're going to Fold down his feet, and you're going to br split them in half. I got my camera thing in the way, so hopefully I transform. And then you're going to rotate his feet around like that. All right. Now you have this six-armed monster. We're going to get my minifigure out of the way. He's in the way. All right. Uh, you're going to then fold his head upward, rotate it around, and then angle that which I'm going to have to bring my camera up a little bit more so that way you can see what I'm talking about but yeah so that's that that's the head and now on to the coolest part about this guy which is his arm transformation for his multiple arms <laughs> you're going to fold these and around you're going to twist them around then what you're going to do is you're going to take them outward and rotate them upward all right so follow along with me if you want to build this guy just by looking at the pictures or just by watching this video. Then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate this around. Uh -oh, uh oh Remember what I mentioned about that? the front arms being very loose? Well, I wasn't making that up. <laughs> then you're going to rotate that side and fold it down as well. Next, you're just going to fold that down. Then you're going to take these, and these are actually his hands, and you're going to rotate them around like that. And then this, you can kind of angle backwards. So you get something that looks like this. Just angle these how you want to. I kind of prefer to angle them sort of like this. They're kind of just laying down. 
My arm keeps hitting the camera stand, so I keep on angling the camera up a little bit. We're just going to move it back some so that we can get the full experience of this guy. Full view. And here we have... I'm going to fix those tiles. And there we have G1-based bombshell in robot mode. And he's he looks great. I like him. Bring in my minifigure for scale. This guy looks pretty good. I especially like him on camera. Uh, he's got a little bit of yellow on his chest, and he's mostly gray and purple, though. With a little bit of light gray and dark gray just in black thrown in there. But I really, really like this guy. He does have a little bit of backwards in the feet. His feet are a little long on the back. They don't have to be, but they're just that way because of how he's made. He's made very, very similar to the way I made kickback which there you go i might i may want to fix that because his chest is a little rough hmm. i might i might end up tiling that we'll see how that goes but anyways so yeah mini pick for scale for both of them they look really good together i really like them and i and i really want to build a scrap null, so he'll be next well no 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 he's not the next video or the next build he will be the next Insecticon I make. If I ever end up making another Insecticon, it's probably going to be Scrapnel. Anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I like them together. They look pretty good. So we're going to get kicked back out of the way. We'll bring in some more scale. Here is, obviously, we got to have Jazz. Because, why not? One of my most complex Transformers. Check out his video if you haven't already. It's on my channel. Then here is Sea Spray. And he is much, much larger than Kit Bombshell. And here we have uh, Devastator right here, who is, again, much, much, much larger. All right. So that's Devastator in scale. And now, lastly, we're going to have my last auto brick challenge which was riptide and they look pretty good together i think i mean i like it but if you remember this guy's a great white shark and this guy's supposed to be a puny insect so yeah speaking of puny insects next scale we have starscream if you get the reference put it in the comments below but yeah so, uh, that is pretty much it for this video. I want to thank you guys again for watching. This is Jacob Moon with Jacob Moon's Mocks. Don't worry, more Transformer videos are on their way, I promise. And uh, next video is probably going to be something that's not even a Transformer. So, go figure. Then after that will be another Autobot. So... I want to thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Jacob Moon's Mox. Oh, and real quick, this is an announcement about my contest. If you watched my last video, uh, which was my contest winners, go on my channel and look in the featured channels list, and you will see uh, the newest additions are the winners of or at least the top two places in my contest. So go check them out. Subscribe to them. I'd greatly appreciate it, and I know they would too. They have really, really cool stuff. So yeah, guys, this has been Jacob Moon with Jacob Moon's Mox. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's get on to that outro. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of my builds, uh, and you want to keep up to date with all my stuff, subscribe by clicking my minifigure. If you want to see all my LEGO Transformers, this is the entire playlist, go click over on this side. And if you want to watch the all my other mocks, uh, I have RC cars and big swords and whatever, go check out on this side. So, this has been Jacob Moon with Jacob Moon's Mocks. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.